Who doesn't like newly installed asphalt pavement? It certainly enhances the curb appeal of both residential and commercial properties. Unfortunately, it loses its shine fairly quickly. Harsh weather, vehicles, and foot traffic will cause asphalt to fade and crack, but asphalt seal coating will help slow down the inevitable deterioration. DIY project? It is possible to seal coat the asphalt yourself. Unless you're MacGyver, which we know some of you out there are, we don't recommend doing it. A professional has the right equipment and knows which products are best for your particular project. A good asphalt seal coating contractor knows how to do the job right, extending the life of your asphalt pavement. Job scope. The scope of your asphalt seal coating job goes beyond the size of the area to be seal coated. For example, if your asphalt pavement has fallen into disrepair, it's going to require more work to fix it. Another issue that can affect price beyond square footage is location. A long, steep driveway is more challenging for the contractor than a flat parking lot. You may also require the asphalt seal coating contractor to repaint stripes. This too will add to the final cost. Research. Finding a good asphalt seal coating contractor requires you to do a bit of research. Websites. Start with their website. This should tell you how many years they've been in business, whether they're licensed, bonded, insured, and what organizations they might be associated with, like the Better Business Bureau. They may even have before and after pictures of jobs they've completed. References. Ask for recent references and be sure to contact them. You'll want to know the scope of the job and how long it took the contractor to complete it. Ask the customer if they would hire the asphalt seal coating contractor again and try to get them to tell you how much they paid for the work or at least if they felt they paid a fair price. Reviews. Use online resources such as Yelp.com and Google to find reviews on the asphalt seal coating contractors you're considering. Reviews are tricky. We recommend not just looking at the overall score, actually read the reviews, particularly the one star and five star reviews. It's not uncommon for a customer to give a one star review over frankly stupid stuff. They didn't like the guy's attitude or it took more than a day to get back to them but they may have done a good job, they'll say. Others may rave about the great seal coating job the contractor did for them, but they forget to click on the stars. Five-star ratings can also be bogus. You can usually tell the review tends to be vague and overly enthusiastic, like the contractor's Aunt Millie wrote it. Now, before we continue, be sure to crush the like button and subscribe to ENC to receive more heavy equipment guides. We do appreciate your support licensed, bonded, and insured. First, let's talk about what each term means. Licensed. A licensed asphalt seal coating contractor has had to show the license granting agency, typically a state or local municipality, that they are knowledgeable and skilled in the work they're providing. Be sure the contractor provides their license number and the agency who granted it. This way, you can confirm if the license is valid and current. Insured. The equipment used by an asphalt seal coating contractor can cause property damage and injury. They need insurance that covers these possible events. They also should have workers' compensation to cover injuries to workers. Should anyone get hurt on the job, you want to make sure you, as the property owner, will not be held responsible. That's why you want to confirm the asphalt seal coating contractor is insured. Bonded. This protects you from subpar work. If the asphalt seal coating job is done poorly and requires repair or in some way causes damages to your property, bonding will handle that cost. This includes hiring another contractor, if required, to do the work. Warranty. Ask each prospective contractor to provide their written warranty along with their bid. There are two different warranties, one for the seal coat product and the second for the installation of that product. You should understand specifically what's covered and for how long and under what circumstances. 
ask if an extended or expanded warranty is available. This is particularly important for large asphalt seal coating jobs. Price. There's a tendency to think price first. The cheapest asphalt seal coating contractor is not always the best choice, nor is it automatically suspect. Contractors may be new to the area, but not new to seal coating, and maybe they're trying to get new business off the ground. It's a risk, but if they can show at least a couple of quality jobs they've recently completed, it may be worth it. If you have a larger project, you could test them out on a small part of it. It's always a good idea to have multiple vendors available for you for any project. Budget. You may have a number in mind, but you can't finalize your budget until you have estimates. We recommend getting bids from three different asphalt seal coating contractors. There are online services to help you find these contractors. Thumbtack.com, Angie.com, formerly Angie'sList.com, and HomeAdvisor.com are just a few. Estimates. You'll want to know the specific products that the asphalt seal coating contractor will use. Be aware, a contractor may quote a lower price because they're watering down the seal coating product. This possibility is mitigated by selecting a contractor who's bonded. They're not likely to use an inferior product that results in work that has to be repaired. Seal coating products include coal tar, asphalt, emulsion, plain, and fill and seal. The contractor might recommend an additive to extend the life of the seal coat. Job preparation. Both you and the asphalt seal coating contractor have to do some preparation for the job. This includes clearing out and cordoning off the area. Seal coating should be done in dry weather at temperature of 50 degrees Fahrenheit or higher. And be prepared to keep the seal coated surface clear of vehicle and foot traffic for at least 48 hours. Get it in writing. A detailed written estimate protects both you and the seal coating contractor. The bid should include specifics about the job, such as square footage, the specific areas to be seal coated, and you want them to list the products they'll use, the timeline for the work, and the warranty. And be sure the estimate has the name of the business, license number, and proof that the contractor is bonded and insured. Wrap up. Hiring a good asphalt seal coating contractor requires you to do some research. Check reviews and references, gather information like years in business from the contractor's website, insist on proof they're bonded and insured, get the final job requirements, products to be used, timeline and warranty in writing. It's all time well spent to ensure you get a high quality asphalt seal coating job. We'd like to thank our sponsor for this video, Olin Pump. American-owned, manufacturing world-class pumps since 1980. Check out olinpump.com to view their entire lineup of pumps. If you like what you see, help us out and hit the like and subscribe button. We appreciate your support.